Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another baby boy album project share to share with you guys. And I love it guys. It is so cute. All right, so I um, got this tutorial idea from Let's Get Scrappy. It is a album that fits six by six papers. It's got two signatures and she shows you how to like make the pages using one piece of 12 by 12 um, cardstock. Um, so I have, I use two because I have two signatures, but it is such a cute album. Um, I'm going to link her tutorial down below so you guys could follow along. Um, her, I think her tutorial was maybe a Halloween one, maybe Valentine's Day. I can't remember. I made mine baby themed and I love it. It's perfect, 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 perfect for six by six paper pads. All right, so let me get started and I'll show you guys what the inside of this album looks like. Okay, so I used the Sweet Baby Boy um, collection kit, and I would show you guys what that looks like, but the back side of the Sweet Baby Boy had um, cut aparts, and so I had already cut into it. But this is my second one um, creating this. Now, let me, let me tell you guys. So I normally make these with six by six paper. This time I did use a collection kit, so it was 12 by 12 paper. But with that 12 by 12 paper, I was able to create two baby boy albums. So it just depends. If you're using a six by six paper, you'll be able to create one. If you're using a 12 by 12 paper, you'll be able to create two of these cuties. So very fun to make. I did already share this one on my album, um, not my album, on my channel. So I already shared this one. This was the first one I made and I was kind of making two at a time. Um, and then this one is another one that I created, but let's, let's talk about this one. Cause this is the one I'm trying to film. Okay. So you guys can see here on the front cover, I did do some zigzag stitching. I have a seam binding closure and you guys know I get my seam binding from my scrap cabin shop. It always looks so cute on my projects. So I will have her Etsy shop linked down below. I also use that seam binding up here because this is a little pullout piece where you could add a photo onto here. Um, and then you would just slide it back in. You don't even need it or you know what? You could always use this as like a little journal thing and put a photo over it as well. So it kind of just like tucks right back in there in this little photo frame that I made. And this photo frame, I forgot, um, I forgot the name, but somebody told me in my last video, um, they sent me a link to somebody who made like this photo frame. I think the photo frame was by Becky Adams. Um, she used like the branding strips and whatnot to make a photo frame to use up those scraps. And since I didn't have like a cover piece, I was like, okay, we're going to make a frame. So that's what I ended up doing. So thank you, um, to you who sent me that video link because that was very helpful and I was able to make one as well. Um, I used some die cuts here that says little boy. I did embellish with some brown like jemmies. I got a baby bottle here. And it says brand sparkling new with the little shoes and more jammies in here and whatnot. So I thought that turned out really cute. And it's going to look even better once you have a photo in here. Um, then the spine looks like this. Triple matting here. I got the brown, like the matte silver and the stars all stitched around as well. And the same thing on the back side. And for this... Um, album I double matted on the inside all throughout except for the covers and the covers are all triple matted front and back covers and the insides are triple matted but everything else is double matted um, so here I have a waterfall and it just says baby boy adorable handsome rockabye your loved blessing and bundle of joy and the only thing about here is I forgot to add a magnet when I was doing this so the magnet you can see here but i'm expecting whoever buys this to put a photo right over it and then you have this closure and i did it on the inside just so you could still see this cut apart but you can also just put it on the outside if you really want to i just i don't like how it covers it up so i do it on the inside um but on here you have all of these like pages that just have solid cardstock so you could add a photo on top of it 
and all the back sides are white so you can add photos here and do journaling and whatnot like you could do some journaling here though i would leave this part blank so it doesn't look like a bunch of words so like journal here and add a photo here and whatnot so that's not probably how i would do it um but you do have space um for photos here and again on the inside then here i do have like a die cut here it says fresh from heaven and you've got um some cut apart so it says bringing you home you can add a photo to the back or do journaling and then you have a journal spot here so those just tuck back into this pocket right here and you could see i double matted i have like this blue that i matted everything with and the card stock the pattern paper on top of it um, then this flips this way you could do add a photo here here is just a die cut it says it's a boy and i'm using it as a tuck spot so you could use this and add a photo to it and whatnot but you could also add a photo back here or slide a larger photo you could add a bunch of photos or just slide one bigger photo these are all pocket pages i don't have anything in here but if you want to add in extra photos you totally can then here just a little bit of decoration with this cute little monkey tag and it says perfect with some cut aparts welcome little one and a journal card you could add photos to the back once again and obviously you could add in more photos into the pockets instead like if you wanted to add this here or maybe here and then add another photo whatever you want to do you can't add too much in the pockets because they are not gusseted pockets so they don't expand but you still could fit a couple of photos but again you have this extra space in between if you want to add in photos there as well you can add a large photo here then this turns you can add another large photo here so that is the end of that first signature using one piece of 12 by 12 cardstock so that's that one and then the next one just kind of repeats just different papers so and decorations so here i have it saying sweet baby boy you've got a cut apart in here says a baby is a blessing a gift from heaven above a precious little angel to cherish and to love i also forgot to mention that this album is available in my etsy shop in case you guys are interested in purchasing and you need a baby boy album um so that this is available um this flips this way i made a little tuck spot here with a die cut it says you are so amazing um and i added in a little journal card just right there and you could add a photo to the back and then have this little journal card um, tucked in you could add a photo here this is another pocket page so you could add in more photos in here and then here I've got this little like pacifier it says miracle with more cut aparts that look like this and those live in here and then I got another tuck spot here that says reach for the stars little man and that looks like that then this flips and I have another larger tuck spot here that says little miracle. Um, and obviously you could glue down some of the sides if you're only going to use this, but I left it open for now. That's why it's moving around a little bit in case you want to add in one larger photo and then still have this as a tuck spot. So that's going to be up to um, the recipient. Then um, just some paper in between and you could also add another larger photo on the back. So that is the second baby boy album I was able to make with that sweet baby boy collection. It is so cute guys. I love it. And if you're interested, again, it is available in my Etsy shop. So definitely check that out. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.